Hi guys, it's Dave here from Pro Tools Answers. So I have a session here that I need to bounce uh, some drums out of uh, Tune Track Superior into uh, into separate drum tracks so that I can process the drum tracks as if they were recorded by an acoustic kit. And this is something that I'll do very often. I do a lot of programming in uh, in MIDI for drums. Uh, Tune Track Superior is my chosen platform, and rather than process everything inside the plugin or bounce to a, a stereo track. Um, I like to bounce everything out of the plugin onto separate tracks so that I can work on those drums as if it was being recorded um, on two separate tracks like I would do in the studio. So I thought I'd take you guys through that process uh, to show you how I do it. Okay, now I'm going to create myself. Uh, let's see, I think I've got eight mono tracks um, and I'm gonna have an overhead and I'm gonna have the ambient stereo as well. And just while I'm at it, let's create myself uh, an auxiliary for the group and then a master fader uh, to control that group input as well. Now, let's rename all of our tracks. stick that there right let's go into that view okay so let's open up the plugin and we're just going to flick over to the mix and like I said we could do all of the processing actually in the plugin but I definitely prefer to do everything in Pro Tools uh, rather than the plugin itself um, now, as you can see, there's the outputs for the uh, the superior mixer, and they're all being sent to output one and two, which is the main master output for the plugin. Um, but we want to be sending each of these tracks out now on their own individual outputs so that we can capture them in real time uh, just by sticking Pro Tools in record. So uh, let's start off with three and four, and my kicks are gonna be outputted on three and four. My snares are gonna be outputted on five and six. Hi-hat is gonna be output on seven. Now just for ease, we're gonna go over to nine and 10 for the first set pair of toms, 11 and 12 for the second pair of toms. So that's 11 and 12. Uh, 13, 14 for the overheads and then 15, 16 for my ambient stereo pair. Now, if you do this a lot, we can actually save this to uh, to tune track so that we can redo this. Uh, we can bring back these mixer settings uh, time and time again. Now, before we do anything else, we have to make sure that each of these tracks are being route to the specific channel that we want to send out. I'm not going to be sending these out in stereo. I need to be sending them out in mono. So we're going to be using the pan controls to set the kick in track specifically to output three. That's the one on the left. Output four is the one on the right. Same thing with the snare. Five on the left, six on the right. Uh, Hi-hat is just coming out on seven. Um, Rack Tom is coming out on 9, 10 on the right, 11 on the left, 12 on the right, and then we can leave the two overheads because they're just fine. Okay, let's close down the plugin and we just need to give some attention to our inputs because we need to route the, uh, the plugin outputs to the inputs this time. So let's go into the input selector for track one and this is gonna be, our, so let's, let's swap those two kicks around because I think it's the first one is the kick in, the second one's kick out. So instead of selecting somewhere coming from our interface or coming from a bus, we're going to click on plugin. And this shows us all of the plugins that have multiple outputs um, as part of the system. And we're gonna to go to Superior Drummer on Drums MIDI. And the, we can see that the first output that, that is selectable is three and four. That's why I'm not using one and two, or it didn't automatically go to one and two uh, because they're not selectable with this particular system. Uh, so kick in is on three and kick out is on four. Just do the rest of them. Now, there is a quicker way to do this. We can actually select uh, all of our inputs stacked um, so that the 
all of the tracks from left to right i.e like one to whatever ten um you can have pro tool select input one two three four etc um, but the reason i'm not doing that so far is because of that hi-hat track it would actually end up screwing up um, on the hi-hat because i've only got one input selected uh, on my hi-hat uh, from there it jumps over to nine and ten so i'd end up having my uh my stack screwed up at that point but i can do that from here on in i've got to hold down command alt and shift and then select my next output which should be nine and ten and we can see that our inputs stack quite nicely according to what i want them to be uh, didn't jump over to my stereo tracks though of course so we've got to select those manually so we'll do 13 14 15 16 there we go let's group all of these i'm calling it group four i want to set that as d and then just check all of our attributes and i want it to be Chord enables input monitors. So we'll click OK. So let's just check that all of that routing is now working. OK. From here, I want to be making sure that I'm respecting the, the typical input levels. Um, and we can see that some of our, our tracks are peaking quite high. You know, I'd be aiming for around about minus 18 dB of input. Uh, we've got this one peaking at 7.4. Uh, minus 7 rather, minus 11. So uh, let's just flick back over to the plugin. We're just going to make sure that each of our tracks are going to be peaking at the right input volume that I would normally be working at if I was tracking this for real. Okay, I'm happy with that one. The same with my overheads. Awesome. Okay, so we can see now if I just head over to just let's click on a chorus. everything coming in quite nicely let's just select my group here and set that output to monitor my drum group there we go so it's going in at a nice level as well okay so there we go we've set up the outputs from the plugin um, everything's coming into the track really nicely all that's left to do now is just hit record. Cool. So I'll always give myself a little bit of extra at the end uh, just to account for any tales from symbols. And now let's give it a listen.
and there we go mixing multi-track drums out of tune track superior hopefully that was interesting hopefully that was useful for you um, if you haven't yet done so please subscribe to our youtube channel please hit the bell icon so that you know when we're releasing uh, our videos we typically do them once a week for pro source answers um, with the aside chains um, and the soloed stuff it's kind of as and when uh, so if you hit those bell icon uh, hit that bell icon rather uh, you'll know when those videos are coming out um, thank you for joining me for the, for the last god knows how long Thank you so much for joining me. It's great to see you soon. My name's Dave. This is Pro Tools Answers, and we're out.